Welcome to my deep cleaning, restocking, and home resetting party. There are a lot of new faces here, which is amazing. I just hope you brought some snacks. Today, I'm gonna be scrubbing, shaking, and organizing my way to a cleaner home, hopefully inspiring you to do the same. So grab your mops, your feather dusters, what have you, and let's get this party started. Of course, if you're not feeling it today, feel free to sit back, relax, and just watching me do all the dirty work. There is a lot of motivation coming your way today. But first, I wanna share something new to the counter that I have been loving, what I think would be an amazing Mother's Day gift. So if you you or someone you love are struggling with keeping up with printing or displaying your favorite pictures maybe you're like me and you don't want the clutter that comes with having too many frames around or maybe you have a family member that just isn't as tech savvy this is the beautiful new aura carter matte digital picture frame in my opinion one of the best gifts to give this mother's day because it is such an easy setup and you can upload unlimited photos to it from anywhere in the world using the free app you could even save your mom the hassle and set it up ahead of time so all she has to do is plug it in my parents have been away for the week and they've been uploading photos so our girls can sit at breakfast and look through the adventures that pop and grammy have been on so if you want this simple and beautiful way to display all of your videos and pictures don't wait right now aura has a special mother's day deal if you click the link in my description you can get 30 dollars off their carver matte frames plus free shipping with the code carissa this deal ends on mother's day may 14th so don't wait terms and conditions apply and also thank you so much to aura for sponsoring this part of the video let's jump over into my bed for me a clean bed is crucial for a good night's sleep not that i really have the chance to get any of that but let's be real, who doesn't love a fresh smelling bed? So let me walk you through how I clean my mattress using just baking soda. If you don't know, baking soda is a natural and effective way to remove dirt, smells, and even stains from your mattress. I'm simply sprinkling that baking soda onto the mattress. I'm gonna do a little rub in and I'm gonna leave that as long as I can, usually a couple hours. If you do not like seeing the dust in your room, I do not recommend dark furniture like this because you will see it all every day instantly. Even right after I clean this up, it's like there's little bits on there. But this was the only dresser available at the time when I was about to have the baby and I felt like I just needed to get a dresser in my room. We love her though, she holds all the clothes really well. Moving on to laundry, if you're like me, you have a love-hate relationship with laundry, it's this never ending cycle of washing, drying, folding, and I'm struggling to find what I love about that. Maybe it's just a hate relationship, I don't know. Laundry I think is probably my least favorite thing to do and it's why it constantly piles up. It feels like it takes the most time and you get the, like, the least amount of satisfaction. There's like no dopamine hit when it comes to laundry for me. But nothing feels better than slipping on a fresh pair of sweats at night, so it's the little things in life. For myself and my laundry, I've tried to really simplify things recently when it comes to putting things away so that I am more likely to do it. So if it is sweatpants, really any kind of pants, all of my jeans are hung up in the closet so I don't need to fold those. All of my sweatpants or leggings just go into the drawer. There's really no reason to fold them, I found out, and that saves a lot of time. And I know that the people on TikTok and Instagram were really pressed about the non-folding method, but like you fold your pants if you want to. I don't have time for that. I gotta come over here and vacuum this baking soda off of the bed. And I love this vacuum. I talk about it all the time. This is my dreamy tech. I found out recently I was saying it wrong, but this is my dreamy tech vacuum. It comes with this um, attachment. I usually use it for the sofas, the beds, and the stairs and it gets all this right off of here very quickly and leaves the bed feeling all fresh and new. As always, all the products are linked down below in the description, but if you can't find something, just leave me a comment.
using that same vacuum over here on the floor just with the different head attachment on it i feel like i need to check in because there are so many new people like i said it's been a wild month for me and i haven't been able to post a longer video here on youtube so if you're new and you came over from shorts or from TikTok or Instagram, what have you, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to meet everyone new that's here. Thanks for joining me here. I have heard so many good things. I asked everyone on Instagram whether I should buy one of these and it was a very big yes. I bought this, we're gonna try it out and I will let you know if you need one too. So this footage is me testing out for the very first time, but if you've been around, you've seen me use it many, many times because now I've had it for a couple months. And this guy is my go-to. I use this multiple times every day. You'd be surprised. I literally feel like a better person with this. I'm not trying to say you need this to feel like a better person, but because of who I am, this makes my life so much easier. I hate getting down on the floor and picking up all the little sticky things. This wet vacuum, wet dry vacuum, it picks it everything up. Like rice, I would avoid giving the baby rice, but the baby can have the rice now because the wet dry vacuum can get the rice easily. So what I do now is I wipe everything on the counter and everything on the chairs just onto the floor and the vacuum gets it. Yes, I still love my OCD mop and I will still use it every once in a while, but I'm pulling this out like five times a day, at least once after every meal because the mop cannot pick up the food chunks. This is picking up every food chunk and it's cleaning the floor. Number one bestseller on my Amazon storefront. So you guys are loving it as well. Okay. Ooh. This is the dirty water from that area. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna use this every single day. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up using this every day. Here's my verdict. This is the first day. I will probably be cleaning floor again in this video. I'm literally just testing this out and I'm so excited. I will probably use this every day though. It's so easy to get out and run. The water tank might be a little bit small, but I did run it when I was like testing things over here for a TikTok. So next time I do full floor, I'll see how long the tank lasts me doing everything downstairs. This is gonna be so nice because we have the girls and the baby and the dog, it's getting to be muddy season. This is perfect muddy season cleaning tool. All right, let's keep going. Moving upstairs to the nursery, that wet dry vacuum though, not done talking about it. It is not sponsored at all. I bought that, I love it. And I will do a video where I talk about the full pros and cons. The biggest con I think I get is people say like, you gotta clean it out, you gotta dump it out, or you know, it'll get moldy. But I'm like, that is the case for mopping. Like, are you just leaving your mop bucket water somewhere? All you have to do is dump it in the toilet after you use it and you know, make sure the roller dries all the way. But anyway, full review coming sometime if you guys care to listen to that. I would love to talk about it. <laughs> this is my passion. You know how I love vacuums. Staying on task though, back to what I'm doing. I am just resetting the nursery, nursery a little bit. Needed to go through Britain's clothes because of course she's my chunky little bear and she is outgrowing everything. It was time to pull out the next size bin. She's doing a great job of pulling it all out herself here. Um, I am going through what's going to be good for summer, spring for her, and then putting away um, all the things that don't fit her anymore, which is sad, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. And it was fun reliving all the memories of the outfits that the girls have worn in the past, and it's fun now getting to see Britain in them. So I'm just going to sort through all that and get it put away in her dresser.
and a sad to see you go pile mixed in with a few things that are long sleeve and tutti that we'll try and make sure they don't fit her. Well, hopefully they fit her in the fall. I've noticed that this video is a little bit of behind the scenes of some of my YouTube shorts. So you're getting the full length version. This is some random restocking for around the house, some cleaning supplies from a quick Target trip. So here's some of my ADHD at play. I came up here to put the toilet paper away, but right next to that is this room, which is kind of Charlie's room, kind of the guest room, really whoever wants to sleep in here. And it just hadn't been picked up in a minute. So just want to tidy up this room and get it looking fresh and new. One of my favorite things I love doing with you guys here is sharing highs and lows. That is Charlie's very favorite part of every day is highs and lows. So drop your highs and lows in the comment down below, comments down below, and I love reading yours and I'm talking to you guys about them. And let's think here. I usually start my sentence without an end and I gotta think through it. My highs for the week, I don't wanna say weather, but quite literally, the temperature have has been very high here, which changes my mood so often. It's crazy how much more productive I can be when it's just warmer outside. So I wonder what I would be like in Florida. That's my wonder. We live up in Indiana. Also another high. I don't know if this is a high or low. I don't see it as a low, but this is the last week of my 20s. Possibly when I'm posting this video, my birthday's on May 10th. I could be 30. I don't know. If you have any tips, wise words for my 30s, you could also leave that as a comment. Um, but I don't really have any lows. Things are going pretty smoothly right now. Okay, this cracks me up. Look at this room, one side of the hallway, 
in the other side of the hallway. I feel like this kind of describes the girls, honestly. I'm trying to figure out why I was so out of breath in that clip, but I'm not actually showing cleaning up Emerson's room in this video. If you want to see that, I did recently do a deep clean and refresh of the um, of that room. It is over on TikTok and Instagram. And actually, it might be over here on YouTube Shorts. I am all over the boards right now. We're moving down to the kitchen now, doing a little cleanup of the counters. So this video is a couple different days of cleaning. Um, I just decided to pop my camera, camera out whenever I am cleaning now. And I put all that video together. So just know that this is not all happening in one day. That's not really realistic. exciting day because this is the day we take on all of the crumb confetti over here this junk counter was just full of junk and i'm gonna put some of that into the junk drawer and we're gonna forget about it for today because we don't have that much time but i needed to get this appliance counter back to a functional state putting the mystery tools back where they go and also just clean out these appliances so that we can use them i'm shuffling them around a little bit putting the Lomi back over on the other counter because I'm more likely to put things in it when it's right in my arm's reach. And then to clean this counter down, it was just easier to vacuum all the crumbs off of it before wiping it down. There's something so satisfying about shaking all of those crumbs out of the toaster. If you're looking for one small thing to clean today to feel better, start with your toaster or your microwave. I always find that my microwave makes me feel better for some reason. But the toaster, it's pretty easy to clean. Yours probably has a bottom tray that pulls out and you can dump all those crumbs out, give the top a good wipe down, slide it back into place and don't make an everything bagel in it anytime soon. I just want to acknowledge that I finished watching Queen Charlotte right before I started <laughs> recording this. So it's taking all of me not to talk in an accent. Um, but I am going to clean this floor after cleaning out the toaster. All the seeds were on the floor and everywhere. So I'm going to go over this once with the wet dry vac. And I'm actually putting the pink stuff into the water. Um, it comes with its own cleaner and it recommends that you only use this. But I wanted to try this because I've never tried it. It only made it a little bit extra bubbly when it went into the dirty water tank. So I don't know, that's probably why it's not recommended. But anyway, it was fine. I forgot to mention that's really cool about the wet dry vacs is when you put them on their station at the end of the day you press a button and it cleans the roller by itself this one doesn't have the self-drying feature which is probably one of its cons people say you need to take the roller out and like let it dry fully I've never had any issue with it just drying on its own in its spot um, 
never had any smell coming from it. Like I said, it's been a few months now, so it comes with two rollers. If you wanted to just swap them each day, it would be pretty easy to do that. I also am trying it here on this rug. It's not for carpets, it's really just for cleaning any kind of hard floor, LVP, tile, whatever you've got, it is great for that. It's not using hot water, so if you've got a floor that doesn't, that shouldn't have hot water on it, it'd be good for that too. But uh, this is a really light, no pile rug. So I'm just, I've tried it out. It's again, it's not like made specifically for rugs, but it did work a little bit. Anyway, that is all I'm gonna be doing in this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope you got some motivation. Make sure you're watching out for shorts. I'm posting those um, several times during the week. Next up on here, we've got the full makeover of our powder bathroom down here from pretty much head to toe. And that's an exciting one. So subscribe if you are new and thanks for hanging out. As always, happy cleaning. Mm -hmm.